if your guess was that I would push on past San Francisco and stop and sleep in the Jeep at a rest stop in Oregon, just past Grants Pass, you would have been right. I slept surprisingly well, considering I slept right here. Oh, wow. Going right from just waking up to 70 miles an hour? That's... Makes 70 miles an hour feel fast. It looks like I've got 10 hours of driving ahead of me today. Looks like. Get to the ferry terminal. Whether I'll get there or not, I don't know. But it's 6.30 in the morning, so we got a good start. Oh. My eyes are not awake yet. I didn't even have time to brush my hair. Just trying to put miles under the Jeep. Or kilometers if you're from Canada or other parts of the world. Just coming into Portland, Oregon right now. It's 9.51. So we're making decent time. I really need a coffee though. So I think we'll head stump down in Portland. Which is not it's not a huge detour off because maybe I have five minutes to my trip to go in and grab a coffee and then get back on the road. But I can really use it. Just didn't make myself one this morning. I was trying to get the miles underneath the wheels. Pretty uneventful trip so far. I don't think there are any cities in the world with as many overpasses and bridges as Portland. Portland, you're a bizarre city, but boy do I love you. I finally met a city with as many, or if not more, one ways than Victoria. Downtown Portland. I'm tired of all these one-way roads. Whew, that took longer than I thought it would. There's two types of fuel stops on this trip. Gas stops to fuel the Jeep, and coffee stops to fuel me.
So I think I should eat one before I go. What do you think? Yeah, I should. clean up the jeep bit because next stop border i'm coming up on the border goodbye usa good luck with your election we'll see you soon i think i'm back down in june hey that rhymed today i went from the bottom of oregon all the way home and right now it's 319 and i've got maybe i'll probably be at the ferry at four so that's quite the day Afternoon. Victoria. Week and a half? No, that's a <laughs> lot of kids. Cheers. Alright man. Have a great day. Okay, that guy was awesome. He was so sweet. I liked him a lot. He had a lot of kids. Unbelievable. Alright, I'm back in Canada on the bad camera. I'll switch up. Okay, I have a little confession to make. On the way in, the lady put me in lane 40, which I caught because usually I'm over here in the 20s and 30s because I'm way too tall to fit into the, the upper car deck. As I was driving, I'm like, wait, I can't fit upstairs. She goes, go lane 32. I heard them announce that the sailing is 50 minutes late and it's more than likely full and I'm gonna miss it and have to wait for the next one. While I was following this rig, kind of meandering his way over here, he went into lane 33 which is for everyone who has a reservation. I don't have a reservation for the five. But needless to say, I've hidden myself in between these two trucks here. So hopefully nobody will notice. Since the ferry's late, I'm gonna sit down and edit some of those videos I have to get to. See what happens. Oh my gosh, I'm getting past the end. Oh, this is such good news. <laughs> We're on. Oh, that's awesome. That's so great. Oh my gosh, that's so great. I'm on the five o'clock ferry at 5.34. It's late, but that's great. I'm on it. Woohoo! Going home to see my baby. It's really hard when I travel. When I get to see Teresa for that little chunk of time, I really miss her and I just want to get home. The last couple days of a trip is always the hardest for me.